Hey guys, Target Recycling FPV, and we're going to actually do a, um, an install on a brand new uh, HDLRC Batman. We're going to put the receiver in the XM Plus, so I figured uh, you guys can uh, watch along as we do that. If you have any questions, always hit me up on the website using our contact page. So let's get to this real quickly, and we'll try to make this as quick as possible. Brand new one, and this is should be the BNF version. Just going to make sure that I'm not opening a BNF PNP version, that'll be next. Alright, so this is going to our customer Anthony. Anthony, you can watch this happen here real quickly and we will knock this out and get it to you very quick here. Hold on one second. Alright, so let's go ahead and just remove the drone itself. Alright, we're not taking any other contents out. We don't need anything else, just need the drone. And we need our XM Plus. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut that open. Alright, so here we go. And so now what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and get this, take off the plate here. And you can see that uh, HDLRC, you know, they're cool enough to pre-solder the wire, which makes it a lot easier on everybody. Um, but I still want to take the plate off because we still have to discuss where we're going to put this. So here's what my thought is here will be that, let's look at what we're working with. Okay, alright. So we've got our antenna there. Um, my feeling here is that we're going to go ahead and actually what I also want to do is I'm going to do an upgrade on this cable because I know HCRC has issued a, a recall on some of these cables. So we're going to go ahead and replace this with the new cable. So give me one second. Let me grab that too. While I'm at it. to replace it with so that colored cable comes out and this white cable is actually going to go in its place this is what HDLRC sent uh, to replace it so let me just go ahead and line this up and what was happening was we were getting uh, ESC fails so it would almost look like a motor failure but it's not Let's see. Uh, and it was just a faulty cable in production the cable was made uh, there was some problems with it and therefore it would just look like one of the ESCs wasn't working or it would basically stop working midair. Okay, now that we've got this done, let's go ahead and look back at our receiver here. And what I'm going to do here is most likely just get it to a point. Uh, I'm thinking if I can clear it, uh, I could put it right here on the plate or I can put it back here and set it in here somewhat comfortably as well. All right, I'm gonna go with the plate for now and hope that that's gonna do it. So let me just go ahead and uh, take this off so I can see my pads there. We've got our three pads, we've got our three cables here. So all I'm gonna do now is turn the soldering iron on. I'm gonna tin these up real quick. And if you look at the instructions here, you're gonna see in the manual that it's gonna go S bus, five volt and ground. So if you turn it this way, you're gonna have S bus in the square, five volt in the middle and ground on the end. So now that that's 10, let's go ahead and what we can do here is we can go ahead and just cut uh, these wires right here. We don't need them. So let's just go ahead and cut. Oh, cut like that. Okay, pull these through. We're gonna go ahead and tin these as well. So let's put these here. Get ready to tin them up so we can solder them. And then we're going to go ahead and get that paste, the flux paste, which is somewhere around here. If I can find it. There it is. Hold on. Flux paste. I'm going to dip these inside the flux paste here. Okay. It's one, two, and three.
means my lipos are ready. All right, let's get this tinning going. So let's grab some solder. Let's just tin our wires real quick. Hmm. Let me make sure this is my solder here. No, here we go. Wires are tin. Now let's clean up this mess and bring the receiver on. There's our S bus. There's our five port. I mean, a, a five volt, and there's our ground. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to basically bring these wires, attach them where needed. Let's trim them a little bit. The ground is at least a little too long, so let's go ahead and trim that up. There we go. I'm going to trim up the 5 volt just a little bit as well. There we go. Okay. And now we will solder these to the receiver. Here's the S-Bus. Five volt. And grab. Okay, now that that's done, let's get ourselves some heat shrink tubing. Find some here. Okay. Let's cut a little bit off. There we go. Okay, down, now to look where we want to, look where we want to install this, let's just see, let's twist this wire up pretty well, get a couple of things out of that, and let's just see if we put it here, can we clear it, and we can, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to turn it so that the customer can get to the bind button, right? We want them to get to the bind button like right here. Okay. We just gotta make sure that this is going to not have any issues. So let's do this. Let's get a piece of double-sided tape. Now this is gonna make it sit a little closer to the um, uh, VTX. So I'm gonna try my best to give it some room here. Put the hot glue. Ah, I need another hot glue screen. Hold on one second. Where did I put that? Sits. Perfect. And it clears with no problem. 
So what we'll do now is let's just go ahead and run uh, two zip ties. Right. And I think what I'll do is I'll run them like this for now. Now we're going to pull the antenna. Let me see what we got. We'll take this antenna here, bring it up through this side. And that little opening that's left. There we go. And we'll take this one here, and we'll bring it up through this side. There we go. And with that, we can now plug the camera back in. Put it back on its spot. So now we're going to get some, let's get uh, some heat shrink, fit over that. Uh, let me see what I'll use here. Try this. this may be too big, but we're going to find out. Right there. Oh, that's actually going to be a good size, I think. Okay. I'm going to pull it at an angle here, right, so that it cools off at an angle. Right, like that. Exactly what I want. I want it to go that way, and I want this one to go this way. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to grab the other heat shrink. Same thing, and you pull it the other direction. Perfect. There you have it. So now we have our receiver put in. The XM Plus is installed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to power this up to make sure everything powers on like it should. Oh, the cables are missing. Let me see if I can find something here.
can't get that. I cannot find my adapter for that. So, that's better. Got so much going on here. I can't find my power adapter, so I'm going to just let me see if I can get any activity from this here. Yep. So we've got our light blinking inside there. That's our receiver light. Everything looks good there. So, uh, there's that. And that's it. So everything's done. So there you go, Anthony, this is going to be boxed up. All you have to do is bind it when you get to all the configurations already set in Betaflight. So I'm going to put this back in the box now. Clean off this table. Everything here looks good, so let's put that back in the box. I'll leave these down to hold in position. And like that. there you go. And that is heading back to Anthony. So Anthony, thank you for the business. Appreciate you, bud. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, please, as always, go to our website, cyclonofreview.com, and then use our contact page. You see the address below. And then please <clears throat> follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your support with that just really helps me a lot. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, God bless. Be safe. And uh, as always, spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. All right? Talk to you soon. Stay flying. Peace.